to interact with and um, almost in like in a hallway feels like a hallway between like rocks and crevices and things and mm -hmm. just am in another animal's space where they where another animal likes to live I guess and mm -hmm. they don't like me being there okay so what's the reason they don't like you territory and okay survival okay so what's happening what's uh, happens next they just bite at me and they start fighting me mm -hmm. and picking at me with their teeth okay their mouths okay. and they're much bigger than i am mm -hmm. and they grab at me and rip off parts of my tentacles and my mm -hmm. appendages and so i can't really move anymore mm -hmm. okay so um not to feel any sensations, just be the observer. Um, and this is what just happened to you. And uh, so now tell me where you're going, your soul. Mm, I feel like, um, like being like swishing in a circle around, like around the sphere of the earth, like very, very quickly moving. Okay. Not like pushing myself but being pulled by something else by something else mm -hmm. try to find out what is that connect with that like um almost like mm -hmm. i want to say when seeds get like dispersed by the wind mm -hmm. um, but not that maybe mm -hmm. tell me more there's no control that i have over Mm -hmm. being in the wind and where I go, but I'm not flowing. I'm being pulled by something like a wind. Okay. In a very direct. Okay. And tell me, after this, what is happening? I'm being sucked by something, being like... Okay, try to find out. Like being pulled into a tornado or something okay or into okay like into a tornado okay so go into that tornado and uh, tell me what's uh, what happened after that mm -hmm. after the tornado i just go straight to the ground okay so Down. what okay you go to the ground and how your how your body do you have a body yes Look at your body and tell, and describe to me how it looks like. Mm, definitely a man. A human? Yes. Okay. Describe to me. Are you uh, young or old? Not old, but just just grown, a grown man. Okay. And tell me what uh, this man is doing now. Um, he's standing very firmly on the ground and looking out at not a tornado but at a storm okay from his land from his land where is this it's on a farm okay a very big open green farm okay with separated by really dense trees okay can you sense what year is this Mm. Not maybe maybe forty years ago. Forty years ago, okay. And um, can you sense of which part of Earth is this? Mm. In somewhere in Europe. Okay. Can you maybe mm -hmm. on the countryside of somewhere in spain spain okay so tell me more about this man what he does the majority of his time he is like a leader of mm -hmm. a really big family okay that is like when people become real family even though they aren't real family mm -hmm. and he has a community where they 
work together. Okay. And they don't reach out to other people or other communities. Okay. But they're welcoming to others. Okay. And he, he is the leader in that he started it and he brought the community together, but he does not act as a leader per se. Okay, he doesn't act as a leader. Mm -hmm. um, he acts as almost like a father that mm. is very good at giving tasks to other people. Okay, and people respect him? Yes, people love him. Okay, so what they have in, the, in this farm, what they grow? They grow their own vegetables and their own their own fruits and vegetables and they grow everything they need to sustain themselves okay because they don't reach out to others so they make everything on their own yes mm -hmm. and they're happy about that lifestyle yes that's mm -hmm. what brought them to the community okay is to live this way okay and how many people are together in this community maybe it it fluctuates okay people come and go sometimes okay and usually between maybe 20 to 30 people okay mm. um how they use do they use electricity very very little mm -hmm. um technologies mm -hmm. um only things that make um their rural lifestyle more um, enjoyable mm -hmm. things to help them live rurally and things to help them mm -hmm. you know stay clean and have clean food okay and to cook foods okay. and to store foods so what kind of a place they live can you look at the, the place they sleep and mm. tell me how it looks like like a barn like um yeah like a, a barn type of space but the the house that's that's by the barn mm -hmm. um kind of like like if the man he has the he owns the farm and then decides to let people come live with him and then that is how the community was started mm -hmm. and so they stay wherever they can okay and they're men and women yes and what men. kind of age are they all ages and and there are other families and other individuals in the community okay anything else you can tell me um, is there any name for this community no mm -hmm. because they don't even think of it as a structure they don't even think of it as a decision or a choice of life that they've made mm -hmm. they just end up there and living their lives there until the next thing comes along if it does mm -hmm. and so there's no name for it okay it's just understood that he is what the center point of it is mm -hmm. so how about schools no okay so so if they're teenagers or children and they they just they don't go to school they no they only live and work in in the community and they all work Mm -hmm. on things to sustain themselves every mm -hmm. day mm -hmm. during the day what they do for entertainment they play games with each other and mm -hmm. go on trips in the forest in the area okay for fun they enjoy all of the things they do every day and make them fun okay. with each other um do you can you see this man's name i saw dan dan Dan. Okay, Dan. Okay, so so he's the leader of this community. Yes. And he has no family there? He does have his own family. Okay. He has a young wife. Okay. And a baby girl. Okay. And a son. Okay. Mm -hmm. And, um... Alright, so... So close this scene and go to an important day of this life of Dan and tell me what's happening. Mm, it's like he 
evening time and he's sitting on a rock by a bonfire big mm -hmm. fire pit and everybody was there celebrating celebrate what celebrating a new year okay and celebrating how their successes for the year and mm -hmm. just celebrating time passing and being happy where they are mm -hmm. and he is on a rock with tools because he's been working mm -hmm. while people have been celebrating mm -hmm. but he's taking a moment to sit down and to watch everybody celebrate around the fire mm -hmm. and how many people are there mm -hmm. lots of people more people than that live mm -hmm. with each other maybe almost a hundred people mm. okay but around the fire is maybe 10 or 15 people okay do they sing they're running around and kids are playing tag and some people are sitting mm -hmm. on stumps and just talking and, and enjoying company with each other mm -hmm. what kind of clothes they wear Mm, the kids don't wear clothes. Okay. But the adults, they wear things like mm -hmm. very raggedy and things like denim and, um, yeah, just cloth and linen and nothing identifying at all. And the children are just naked. Naked? How, how old are those children? There's little toddlers that are three and four okay and then there's 12 year olds and around mm -hmm. preteen age okay and what kind of food do they have they there? have corn lots of vegetables mm -hmm. and cooked in different ways like a big on the fire they have um, vegetables and water mm -hmm. that are being cooked making stew and broth mm -hmm. and cooked corn and they don't eat meats they don't eat mm. animals at all no they don't have access to animals and they don't have any hunters mm -hmm. so they forage okay and they do have things like grains and rice that i don't think they make or get themselves mm -hmm that they have to they have to go and get somewhere else mm -hmm. like from where mm, like through there's one side of the farm that is the the forest and the trees and then on the other side is more open mm -hmm. and you can walk for a very long time and, and come to other communities of people okay and it stays open so what they get uh, from other communities special things like mm -hmm. mixed herbs okay and different flavors and seasonings okay and clothes clothes okay clothes and, and blankets blankets mm -hmm. mm, okay so they don't make those in their community, in this community? They can, but they don't prefer to. Oh, okay. So, is everyone happy living in that community? Everyone is happy while they're there. Mm -hmm. And oftentimes people will come from somewhere else on a journey somewhere and Mm -hmm. end up staying for much longer than they intended to and then they move on okay and there's um something before and after their stay that's not very happy mm -hmm. okay so when they're staying there they always feel happy mm -hmm. they feel connected to the way that they're living there and like mm -hmm. a peace while they're there mm -hmm. and there's nothing they need to worry about. No. Mm -hmm. 
That's why they stay for longer. Right. And then when they leave, they have apprehension. Mm -hmm. But why they do leave? Because they know that there are tasks that they have to complete in the rest of the world. Oh, okay. For them to keep living their lives. And for example, what type of tasks? Maybe to go and be with another part of your family. Maybe to go and just to meet other people. Just things that other people are bringing or requiring them of. Always to go to a requirement they have mm -hmm. for a job, for whatever they feel their purpose and mm -hmm. their purpose is to be doing. It's always on the way to go and accomplish something like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, do you think this type of a community still exists today? Yes, but it's more... This, this community happened naturally by lifestyle choices. And mm -hmm. communities like this today are mm -hmm. very intentionally done and you have to go more out of your way to really live this way than they did. It just happened. Okay. Mm. I heard of this type of community in other countries. Um, so the way they did it um, is very natural. Mm. People don't have to... They never decided to live this way. Okay. Or acknowledged another way of living. Mm -hmm. Unless they came from somewhere else and decided to stay. And the people came from uh, what kind of uh, places? More urban places, more mm -hmm. more city places, and they they have the feeling when they come across is that they're on mm -hmm. a journey, and they these are people who they come across this community because mm -hmm. they decided to take the scenic route because they decided to take the longer route to wherever they're going. They decided to take the trails of some sort and come across the community and they mm -hmm. feel surprised by it and almost mm -hmm. a little bit afraid of it mm -hmm. um what they what they realize the most is that the community doesn't realize that they're different mm -hmm. from what okay. else is happening even after sharing how mm -hmm. other people live they don't acknowledge anything different mm -hmm. about that and that's what they find is most important mm -hmm. okay i see how people even uh, find out this community here they they come these people have come and they're instead of taking a direct route by a train mm -hmm. they choose to take a scenic route instead and they choose to go through the forest mm -hmm. or from whichever direction they're coming but you normally they notice people coming from the forest, mm -hmm. almost like almost like hiking, or they have all of their things with them, mm -hmm. and they are in the middle of this area where mm -hmm. it's right at the end of the dense trees, and so a person would be drawn to walk towards an open space, okay. and it's by happenstance, but because it's the people that have chosen to take mm -hmm. the longer route to another town mm -hmm. so like they're in between two towns mm -hmm. anything else you want to add to explain about this community just that the important thing is not about the physical things that they do when they live that makes them different even though that is okay big and important but the important thing is how they think about their lives Mm -hmm. And that what makes this man feel or seem like a leader or like at the head of it is because he is the origin of this way of thinking and way of understanding life. And he's influences the people within the community. And that's what mm -hmm. is the defining feeling of the community is this way mm -hmm. of thinking and feeling about things. Mm -hmm. Why this life, this man's dance life, will influence or has impact to Sky's life? Because he very naturally and with no large weight guides people towards being mm -hmm. more 
happy and fulfilled with themselves mm -hmm. in a way that is not because of something that he gives to them, but because he shows them how to get things for themselves mm -hmm. that they really need. Mm -hmm. So you want to show this dance life to kind of give uh, some sort of message to Sky's uh, current life. What um, other messages uh, you can give to her? That is okay to perform but behind the scenes, to be doing things for everybody that they can't see you doing it or maybe they don't. Mm -hmm. have to know that it was you and mm -hmm. that that is great in itself mm -hmm. if not more more what she needs can you she would want to do can you explain it a bit more for her to get more clear guidance that sometimes that doing things does not need mm -hmm. you don't have to write your name on everything that you do mm -hmm. and that that's not what is important it's not important that people know that you did this or you did this for them or mm -hmm. why why you did it or how difficult it was or that it needs to have any value to them even at all mm -hmm. that you don't have to write your name on everything you do before you show it to somebody else that mm -hmm. other people can have something that you have made from nothing mm -hmm. and nothing will change whether they know you did it or not. Mm -hmm. Okay. And um, why you... Am I talking to Sky's higher self now? So. Okay. <laughs> so why you like to show her that life she was a starfish? Mm, because that was blissful and it was peaceful and... Because she likes to lay in the sunshine and... Okay. She likes the warmth of the sun on her face, and she... Mm -hmm. There's significance to the center point of a starfish. Mm -hmm. What's the significance? The significance is that because it comes from a center point and it goes outwards from there, like when things come and try and attack it, it can rip off. Mm -hmm. one of its legs and then grow another one from the center mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. accomplishing more simple things every day mm -hmm. over and over again is bliss blissful okay is there anything else she can learn from that life no mm -hmm. so how sky is doing right now mm, she's Okay. <laughs> so what's uh, why she's uh, acting that way? Why she feels anxious? Or she's mm, because she's struggling to let go of what mm -hmm. she thinks and feels based off of what's relevant. Because she's thinking of relevance. Mm -hmm. She wants to make things relevant before even looking at them. Before even questioning if it is or not be before even she just wants everything to have a purpose before it's even in front of her right so what's your advice about that my advice is that that's my advice is that that's her comfort and that is her comfort zone mm -hmm. and that she has always said she wants to be comfortable outside of her comfort zone and that mm -hmm. right and that she already knows to mm -hmm. push away from that and to mm -hmm. put herself in positions where she's uncomfortable mm -hmm. my advice is to be uncomfortable okay so she can learn from uncomfortableness mm -hmm so that she can feel capable okay. when mm -hmm. she's uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. So she needs to challenge herself to do things that she doesn't feel comfortable. So this way she will learn, she will feel that she can do those things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so she will do more of those things. Okay, that's 
uh, Ducking will help her. Um, she worries a lot. She worries about things that didn't happen yet. Um, she's not sure if uh, what she's doing now is uh, is something that will serve the purpose um, of this life. Yeah. Do you have any advice for um, what she's doing now? What she's doing now, and she already knows, is exactly mm -hmm. what she needs to be doing and is for a very important purpose. Okay. But she knows, but she relies too much on craving validation and mm -hmm. that is going to only be an obstacle and is only going to be an impossible wall to break down. Mm -hmm. So what she's doing now has a very serves a very important uh, meaning. Um, can you explain that a little bit more? It's important for her to overcome certain roadblocks in her spirit and in her soul and in certain weight that she carries with her. Mm -hmm. um, it's important for her to go through to to reach and accomplish her purpose mm -hmm. so that in her next cycle mm -hmm. in her next experience she can finalize things because she is on the brink of finality mm -hmm. because she's close to rest she's close to resting she's close to reaching a point of rest for her for her spirit and for her existence. How she can do that? She can continue to be uncomfortable and to, she can do this either by mm -hmm. waiting for things to come okay. and going through them and allowing them to happen, mm -hmm. or she can do it by persevering through and actively seeking these things and actively asking for more and more and Mm -hmm. that will get her even closer for what might not happen mm. by any significant time for her now, but will be right there and so ready for what is next. Mm. What? Yes, yeah, she also feels like nervousness uh, when she expresses herself to others physically and emotionally. That's because she knows it's important, and that's because she's afraid mm -hmm. of not communicating correctly okay. oh. in physical ways, emotional ways, and creative ways. Mm -hmm. She's afraid of miscommunicating, and mm -hmm. the nervousness and anxiety is what her fear does mm -hmm. to keep her from even being able to attempt to do it correctly, because she would rather not do it at all than do it incorrectly. Okay, so what she should do? She should do it anyways, and she mm -hmm. should be scared, and she should be nervous, and she should be anxious. <laughs> okay. And she should feel these things until, until her mental strength and her mental muscles are strong enough for them to not even, mm -hmm. to be too small, to be too lightweight. She can carry so much more mm -hmm. that that is not in the way of her attempting to express herself, to express what she needs to express in order to overcome these obstacles in her spirit that... And she's ready for this? She's almost ready for it. Okay. She needs to be very uncomfortable. Mm. She needs to be very, very uncomfortable. Mm. But sometimes that can be very challenging, so... Is there anything that can help her to not be afraid of those challenges? To um, identify the individuals in her life mm -hmm. that are pillars for her and are mm -hmm. rocks and are strength for her and mm -hmm. people that can donate some of themselves to her mm -hmm. when she needs so that she can get through those times. Mm -hmm. And in order to identify that, but then to also mm -hmm. make use of it because identifying it will not do very much if you can't make use of it. Mm -hmm. In order to make use of it, she has to open up a part of herself more to these individuals that she identifies and allow herself to be 
vulnerable mm -hmm. and to be embarrassed or to be wrong or to be mm -hmm. a failure or to be worthless mm -hmm. with these people mm -hmm. and allow that to happen before so she can borrow their strength borrow their strength mm -hmm. that takes a lot of courage and we all have some sort of fear to be vulnerable and how there's any other suggestion that she can be able to face those fear mm. she has fear but she's already used to stepping up to it mm. she's already used to facing it and mm -hmm very good at it but is out of practice oh, okay she knows exactly what to do mm -hmm. when it has to be done and can do it very well mm -hmm. but more mm -hmm. courage and bravery will come from time spent alone okay will come from Mm -hmm. practice okay. in smaller ways, practice in ways that are not relevant to her purpose, mm -hmm. practice in ways that will be relevant for other people mm -hmm. and will show her by what she can do by facing her fears for others, mm -hmm. will show her what she could then do for herself mm -hmm. and make that easier by making practice through others. Mm -hmm. And she also wants to experience more feel fulfillment um, every day. Mm -hmm. What she should do to achieve that? The fulfillment that she doesn't feel every day mm -hmm. is very physical. It's very... Mm -hmm. the, the feeling is the, the lack of fulfillment feeling is very lethargic it's very sloth like and and stagnant and mm -hmm. it's just very nothing nothing happening at the end of the day and her mm -hmm. body uh -huh. her body needs more attention she needs to she needs to practice in her diet she okay. needs to practice in her exercise and she needs to practice in her affections towards other people mm. and things like hugging and <laughs> putting your arms around each other okay. and dancing and, oh. Oh. and and being active and and she she needs to live in her body more deeply with more mm. purpose yeah, can you explain that part she just thinks that everything is already done and that everything besides a shower and a food when you're hungry and sleep when you're tired is mm -hmm. everything she needs and that is not true okay she needs to she not not that she is disrespectful to her body but she needs to show the utmost respect to her body that she's in right now because mm -hmm. it is an important vehicle and mm -hmm. she wants if she wants to be getting to destinations quickly then she needs to be using the proper fuel mm -hmm. to move at that pace that she wants and that that doesn't just happen while you are asleep at night mm -hmm. so she doesn't exercise enough no mm -hmm. what kind of exercise will could be good for her. Mm, maybe maybe some sort of fighting, maybe some sort of martial arts? Maybe but something very much boxing aggressive, maybe boxing would be good for her mm -hmm. because she has so much pent up and doesn't even know it. Oh. And that would be such a good way for her to feel a spike mm -hmm. of energy in herself that she that that's what she really wants to feel mm. every day that that's what she really wants to experience is a spike of something that has been mm -hmm. just the same for very long mm -hmm. 
Mm. So doing boxing will help her mm. mentally. Mm -hmm. mm. Boxing will help with her confidence. Mm, okay. So maybe dancing would be dancing mm -hmm. as well. Dancing would be as well. Mm, what kind of dancing? What type? Mm, maybe hip hop and okay. lyrical dancing mm. to be very aggressive and intentional, but also interpretive and mm -hmm. mm, spiritual and ambient mm. and graceful. Mm -hmm. That's very good advice. Um, what kind of food she should be eating more? She should be eating more in general. She should oh. be mm -hmm. eating foods with more substance and foods that she knows when she eats them, she knows what it's doing for her body. She mm -hmm. should be more she should be more informed about what food is doing to her body mm -hmm. because she doesn't have a poor diet. Mm -hmm. she has no she has no diet. she has no sense of of food going into your body having mm -hmm. an effect on things mm -hmm. besides I'm hungry, I'm not hungry. Mm -hmm. And she can be much more intentional with what she's eating. Mm -hmm. um, more substance, more proteins because she needs more energy. Right. And she needs mm -hmm. things, she needs more energy, mm -hmm. more natural energy. Right. Any particular food she should be eating more? Mm, maybe just greens and and beets mm -hmm. green and purple green and purple mm -hmm. no red yellow well she really likes red and yellow foods already oh. but i think green and purple is what needs to be added and red and yellow mm -hmm. is there mm -hmm. mm. Um, any other things that she can do in her day to help her mm, she, become more confident? To become more confident in her day, mm -hmm. she could maybe choose to mm -hmm. share something with somebody that in the moment she could find a time when she holds back and then decide even if it's irrelevant, even if it's not important, mm -hmm. even if the person won't care at all, mm -hmm. just to say it anyways. Mm, just talk to someone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So maybe maybe if it's something about you want to ask somebody a, a, a question you think will be stupid mm -hmm. on at work maybe, mm -hmm. and she decides not to and figures out the answer for herself and doesn't need to ask anybody mm -hmm. and maybe she can go ask the question anyways. Mm -hmm. So she works with his attorney John and so she should maybe ask him questions Yeah. when she doesn't understand too well. Yeah. And John, I'm sure John will give him the answer and uh, to make him make her understand Yeah. a lot of things. And she'll either learn more about the question she had or whatever she had to say mm -hmm. or well she will always learn more mm -hmm. by asking somebody else or by just choosing to communicate with somebody else she'll learn more mm -hmm. and she will also practice times where she'll see the benefit of of not hesitating she she mm -hmm. will see that maybe something amazing came from her going against her hesitation mm -hmm. that she Mm -hmm. She has. She would have missed out on mm -hmm. entirely. She'll get the confidence mm -hmm. and the right. practice to to open her mouth and let sounds come out more mm -hmm. frequently. Why is she afraid, uh, or she doesn't communicate enough? She doesn't communicate enough because she's very used to being told that that wasn't really necessary to say. Mm -hmm. Or she's very sensitive mm. to the way of the world where when we say things mm. out loud, it's our instinct to contradict. Mm -hmm. Maybe for the sake of conversation, maybe for the sake of our ego and our mm -hmm. pride. But she's very sensitive to that when mm -hmm. she says something and then somebody has a contradiction. Mm -hmm. Or somebody thinks she's completely wrong. Or maybe somebody doesn't care and skips over it entirely and that's a very sensitive inward mm -hmm. reflecting moment for her mm -hmm. that is 
a very loud moment when it happens. Mm -hmm. And that makes her very intimidated. Intimidated and anxious. And it makes her that feeling mm -hmm. more than anything, not even about the knowledge or the potential of what if. The feeling she gets when that happens mm -hmm. is what happens before she even says anything now. Mm. And that's why she doesn't even say things. Mm. So what she can do to practice to be able to communicate more or express herself more? Be talking out loud with herself mm. and... Or make more friends? Making more friends and before making more friends her friends that she can communicate with like this very easily and comfortably are not mm -hmm. very, the, most of them are not in her life presently. They're not in New York right. with her. Right. They are in Texas yeah. and mm -hmm. she can call them on the phone mm -hmm. and talk with them and she can FaceTime with them and um, maintain that type of communication. Mm -hmm because it's going unpracticed and that's what's happening is that mm. it's not being practiced it's not being done mm -hmm. and so when it needs to be done there's a sense of performance opposed to just mm. act happening and doing something else out of the ordinary right right and um yeah so she should talk to her friends more um so she, she maybe sensed that she, her her heart is not fully like opened and uh, is there anything we can do to open that heart today yeah there's definitely a something that's hardened over time that can just i can just get rid of it mm -hmm. yes please help her yeah i don't we don't need it for anything anymore mm -hmm. and it can just be gotten rid of it can be it might not, it, it might, because it is something that she made and it's something that she created and it hardened over time mm -hmm. inside of herself because of the circumstances of life. But mm -hmm. more than anything, because of her fear of it hardening in the first place. And that's why it hardened. So she, need, she needs it, but she might just have to make it again. And knowing that, I know it might come back again. And she can't, she can start over one more time with it and mm -hmm. nurture it so that it doesn't harden again. Mm -hmm. Let's do something today to help her to nourish her heart. Mm -hmm. I think we need to fill that heart with a lot of confidence mm -hmm. and love and trust. Can you work on her heart? Yeah. Great. Are you done with that? Mm. Is there anything else that she needs to change or improve? Any other messages for her? Just that she needs practice mm -hmm. and focus. And that is the underlying mm -hmm. skill that will influence mm -hmm. everything else that we have thought about and will influence every other goal mm -hmm. that she has is practice and focus by meditation and physical acts like exercise mm -hmm. and also willpower. Okay, I'm sure she will appreciate those guidance. Are we done for today? Okay, now I'm asking the subconscious to recede to where it belongs with much love and much thanks for the help and information it has been giving Sky today. I know she's really going to appreciate it and I want the entity or entities from other lives that we were speaking with to also recede into the past to the time where they belong with much love and much thanks for the information they have given us the things you were watching are from the past they belong in the past 
and we will leave them in the past. We only brought them forward as a curiosity to learn from, to have information to help with the present lifetime. In that way, they are valuable and have importance. But as Sky listens to the recording and goes over the material and puts it into place, it will not bother her in any way, mentally and physically. I want all of the consciousness and personality of Sky to once again return and fully integrate back into the body completely. Now I want Sky to move up, up through time and space and orient yourself back into the present day and time, May 10, 2019. And I want you to remember that the present life you're living now is the most important life of all because it is the one you're focused on at the present time. Any information we can find in this way is valuable, but it will not bother you in any way, mentally and physically. Now, in a moment, I'm going to count to 10 and on the count of 10, you'll be wide awake, feeling wonderful all over, like you just had a nice nap, a nice sleep. You will feel truly rested and refreshed. Anytime you do this, it will always be an enjoyable experience. Now, follow me up as we go, and on the count of 10, you'll be wide awake, feeling wonderful all over. One, two, you're beginning to breathe a little faster. Your blood is beginning to circulate a little faster. Three, four, you're becoming aware of the physical body, very much aware of the physical body. Five, six, you are becoming aware of the sounds in the room and the sounds outside of the room. Seven, eight, you're coming up very nicely. Nine, ten, wide awake, wide awake, feeling wonderful all over. Welcome back.